The possibilities of 3D printing are practically endless, and that technology is used right here in Indianapolis to improve patients' lives. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn met a man living with a 3D printed implant today. Mike Niemeyer loves to be active. Tennis is his game. And now that he's retired, he'd like to golf too. We'll examine your knee. But he needed a knee replacement. No. It's been more than three months since IU Health's Dr. Meneghini performed the surgery. Despite some swelling, he's back to normal activity. I'm traveling to Florida next week, and, and uh, we'll be taking my tennis racket at that point. Niemeyer received a 3D printed implant. We probably do about 50 of these per year. Dr. Meneghini was a principal designer of this model. And it's made from, in many cases, almost a powder of metal dust. Since its release two years ago, the device has begun to change the face of knee replacements across the country. This device sits on the top of the tibia, the leg bone, like this, and the, uh, the bone growth goes into this highly porous metal. The porous surfaces allow the bone to grow into the metal, eliminating the need for bone cement. I don't use this device for patients in their 70s or 80s because we can cement it in just fine. The 3D printed implants last longer but are more expensive and the next step is personalized 3D printing. You make the implant exactly the way they need it specifically for them. There's a that's a that's years off in the future. In the meantime, Niemeyer is thankful to be active with less pain. I feel like I've still got another 15 20 years of tennis in me and I, I want a knee that will carry me through that period of time. Dr. Dr. Meneghini tells me early scans show the model is working as they intended. Bone is growing into the metal, locking it into place. However, he says it'll take another 40 years to prove it's a long-term solution. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.